Hey, 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 YouTube! What is going on? There's Traveling Card Puller here, back with another video. Went to a uh, Target outside my normal area, and uh, just doing some normal Christmas shopping, and came across a fairly moderately stocked uh, Walmart or Target, but didn't really have anything truly interesting, but they did have a couple of packs that I like to open. Number one, definitely being Archives. I love the design of Archives. And I did not ever think I've opened a Topps Chrome Platinum, so this was the only one left. Hoping for Last Pack Magic. We'll, we'll, we'll try and take a look here and see. But I apologize if you're going to hear me cough through here. Unfortunately, I'm fighting a little bit of a sore throat, so doing my best as we go along, especially with all this talking. So uh, we'll go tried and true first and keep the last pack of Chrome Magic to uh, to have it as well. So uh, keep that aura going here, right? So we're going to open these. Um, Tops Archives, 56 cards total, seven packs, so we're eight, uh, eight cards per pack. So I'm trying to get through these. Hopefully we can get some uh, some luck here. This was also a hidden pack in the uh, in the whole thing. It was not where it was normally. It was down below. Again, trying to go for some of that uh, mojo of having the uh, somewhat forgotten pack of uh, blaster boxes. So. Uh, do appreciate all the new uh, new followers. Uh, there was a bunch that had just popped up. Here, I'm gonna try and uh, reangle this while we're talking here. And uh, so I appreciate you coming on board and following me for the stuff that I do. And I do my best uh, to try and go ahead and uh, do some gr good pulling amongst all the uh, retail options. But I'm trying my hand at doing a lot more of the uh, mystery packs as well. So check out the shorts. I try to do most of the mystery packs on shorts. Sometimes I'll do some longer form with them, depending upon overall, uh, you know, quantity of what I have or the kind of cards. Because, you know, you only get a, one minute to go ahead and do a short. So I uh, would like to see that increased. But, you know, it'll help with trying to get some of those bigger packs out. But we're not really uh, privy to having that so we'll try our best so we're just going to do a full uh, blaster box just going to do a full pull i'm just going to open them all and uh we'll cycle through them. um if there's anything that you guys want to see me do um this one's just, just doesn't want to open anything you want to see me do down the road uh any kind of mystery packs you guys have uh any preferences on or think that might be a good one to do let me know um i'm into trying to find the bargains um you know going for the lower cost um i'd say like under 20 bucks type of thing but i'm not a, against going a little bit bigger but let's uh let's see what we can do let's go ahead and take a look at these all right first things first we've got to say a suzuki oh, i forgot some of these are on the landscape michael taglia Christopher Morell, the rookie. Oh, Toggly is a rookie as well. I like to separate them out. Just makes it easier later on. All right, we got ourselves a nice Jordan Walker. Fernando, and lost a teammate recently. Uh, Tris Speaker on the legend card. Uh, we got our Grayson Rodriguez on the blue. Uh, Matt McLean on the blue. Back into Torkelson. We got a Jarrett Wash. We got a Josh Jung. All right. Back with the Order Style Mets, Ninmo. Bryce Tarong. And then we have our first of the uh, hollow cards. Uh, we got a rookie, Ivan Herrera. We have a, a Roy Campanella on the legend. Johnny Bench on the legend. All right, we got ourselves an Oswald Peraz. Okay. Chisholm. Uh, Mr. M Yankee himself now. Juan Soto. Roger Clemens. And Nathaniel Lowe. Ooh. Moving cards, gotta love them. 
Ker uh, George Kirby, a foil cow, not bad, Bill Mazeroski, and a Zach Netto on the rookie. All right, and we got ourselves an Adalas Garcia, a Lou Gehrig. Right behind him, we have Bryson Stott. Buster Posey, Matt Maris. Oh, look at this. It is an actual on-card auto certified of Kyle Stowers rookie card. Wow, look at that. That is a nice, nice card. Yeah, certified autograph issue. And it's an on-card auto of all things, too. It's not one of those label autos. Wow. What a pull. What a pull. Nice. I mean, probably not, haven't heard of Kyle Stowers personally, but to get an on-card auto is pretty darn good. So we'll put that one aside there. Get that one sleeved up here in a little bit. Um, off off cam, I don't have any sleeves or, car, or top loaders with me at the moment. We got ourselves a Brian Reynolds, Edwin Diaz. We got a Griffey. Greg. Michael Bush, the rookie card. I have to look in the bottom corner of some of those other ones I thought might have been rookies. Uh, Mr. Vargas, Mr. Moreno, legend Frank Thomas on the hollow. Chris Bryant, uh, Lucas Giolito, Dan B. Swanson, Mr. Harper, uh, Mr. Buxton, Strowman, Freddie, who's got a new teammate. We got a Trout on the, this is 80. Oh, no, Trout and Shohei. Wow, okay, I didn't, I forgot these ones are back to back. So, put the man of the hour up here as well. I know I'm going to have to move him when I go get that box, but I didn't have, I don't have any of my stands at the moment. Mr. $700 million. <sighs> Good for him. Hunter Brown, um, Yoshida, Mr. Goldschmidt. Nolan Jones, Luis Robert. Yeah, I thought some of these. Okay, Brandon Crawford, Dalton Varsho, Mr. Rodriguez himself. We have Freddie. He's got a new teammate. Yeah, you yeah, know, in the blue and white. Oh, good old Hanky Aaron, Mr. Eddie Matthews, and finally Mr. Ozzy Smith. So, big big hit. Good card nonetheless. So we're going to go ahead and, and move Shohei over here. And we're going to get ourselves into some 22 Chrome. This one's got 32 cards. Okay, first time opening Platinum. This is three exclusive Prism Refractors. So that's what we're going to be looking for. But also anything else. Uh, let's see here. Platinum, cream red, uh, refractor red, black, okay. <coughs> there you go. There's one of those calls that I promised you guys. guessing everybody's going to be looking for his new blue and whites come next year so that'll be interesting finds and some cards down the road so let me know what you think about that and where do you think some of the other uh, top tier players are going to go i'm holding my breath for my local phillies to go ahead and Go trout fishing now that Otani's no longer going to be an angel. I'm hope I'm hoping he decides that he uh, needs to needs to come home and stop playing on the West Coast and start hanging out with family and being in Jersey like uh, like we are and 
be pretty nice, especially with his new golf course he's opening. Um, you know, there's a lot that he can do here in Philly. So I'm hoping for Trout to come back to Jersey. But, you know, being a season ticket holder for the Phillies as well, it's another, it's another selfish reason why I would want him to come back. But would tell me what you think. Or do you think so, some of the other teams are going to be going after some of these other players, you know, these other players that are in the free agent market? Where do you think they're going to go? Post in the comments. The, uh, the you know, algorithm. With, uh, I, would, I and the algorithm would thank you. So, all right. So we got a bunch of backwards cards here, but I know they don't really make a whole lot. So we got ourselves a first off a of Sean Murphy and Ozzy. Colton Wong, Austin Meadows, okay, I'll try to move these over a little bit so I can go, we got our first, okay, Super uh, Prism Refractor, and that's a Louis Robert, we have Mr. Clemens, we have a Jackson Kowar rookie, we have a Hans Kraus rookie. I know he got knocked down. I don't. I don't think he got traded. I just think he's down in the trip in the in the farm system because he's no longer up with the team. Jordan Alvarez. We have a John Gray. All right. We got another rookie coming up soon. We have ourselves a Phil Necro. A Stuart Fairchild. A Luis Frias on the rookie. Oh, we got a blue card coming up here. Hopefully that one's a numbered card. That'd be nice. Harmon Killebrew. All right. Dennis Eckers Eckersley. Let's see here. Okay, it's a Washington. That's a blue Strasburg. All right, nice, nice looking blue refractor here. Uh, yep, numbered to one ninety nine. Not bad, number 160 for Steven Strasburg. First hit, I'll take that. Good player, no longer uh, playing baseball right now, but, you know, overall, good player. Uh, Robin Yon. <coughs> Alberto Mondesi. Oh, 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 got cards jumping out of themselves here. These chrome cards don't like to stay flat. Jeez. Gavin Sheets on the rookie. All right. We have a Geo Ursa, uh, Ursula. Uh, Mackenzie Gore on the rookie. We have another one of those fractors. And that is a Alex Verdugo. It's not bad. All right. We have another Alex Verdugo, not refractor. I guess back to back. We have a Luke Voigt. Look at that mug. Don Drosdale. All right. Red Show Diced. Mike Ballman. Bauman, sorry. We have a foil of, uh, or they're all chrome, but this is a rainbow of Jim Rice. It's not bad. I'll put him over there for now just because it is a rainbow. We got a Will Smith. Matt Chapman. Looks like we got another blue in the back there. That'd be nice. Uh, let's see. Dwight Gooden. Uh, let's see here. Let's flip this one around. We have a Chris Bassett. Jacob Stallings. A Xander Bogart. This is an Arizona Diamondback. Uh, let's see here. Ah, Luis Frias. On the rookie, though. On the rookie. Blue refractor. And it is not numbered, so it's not as good hit as a Steven Strasburg. But it is a blue refractor rookie card, so that's not bad at all. So, let me just double check. Yeah, it was, um, here you go. It was Stuart Fairchild, who was also a rookie rainbow refractor. I'll move him over here as well. So here's our rookies out of this pile. Bauman, McKenzie, uh, Gavin Sheets, Luis Frijas. Uh, got, his, got his other alternative. 
Cross and Coar. And then for our hits for both, or obviously, you know, Kyle Stowers on the, the rookie signature. We got the uh, back to back of Shohei and Mikey Trout. Then we have our blue chrome, uh, blue refractor uh, number to 199, Steven Strasburg. As aforementioned, Stuart Fairchild, the uh, blue refractor, and Lewis. How, uh, Rainbow or Jim Rice, Verdugo and Robert on the uh, regular refractors, and then we have our hollows of Friedman, Thomas, and Cal, and then we have our other one which was Ivan Herrera on the rookie card. So, not bad. We got some really good pack magic out of these ones, especially out of the uh, number card out of the the tops trading, and then we have the rookie signature out of the archives. So retail is not completely dead, but definitely don't, you know, shy away from some of the, uh, the last packs out there. They tend to they tend to be hitters as we prove we point here with the, with what we pulled out of these two mini boxes or blaster boxes I should say, but going forward, um, going to have some more, um, going to have some more content for you. Uh, like I said on previous videos, we're going to try and do something I haven't really seen, which is go through some cards and check their valuations. Uh, I got a bunch of cards that I have been uh, trying to sort through. We did a whole video series on uh, the Shop Goodwill giant box that I got that was just a mess of cards. So that one was uh was a challenge to go through but i had a bunch of cards i already had and I had to go through as well so we're at the i'm at the point now where i'm still influxing new cards but i still have to try and get something going to you know put some value find out if cards are better off getting graded and maybe going through that process as well so we're going to use the app the uh, colex app to try and justify um, how much these items cost, compare them against uh, that compares against the most recent uh, e eBay listings. So we'll uh, we'll see what we can do, and I look forward to showing you those videos and going through that. Uh, if that's not your cup of tea or if not something you're into, I'm still going to try and keep doing shorts and still keep trying to. Uh, do some of these videos as well uh try you know the whole idea of the name is going out there and grabbing cards from different areas and showcasing what's out there in the uh in the wild so the quite literal wild not just uh you know we're going through places like walgreens and uh maybe GameStop, depending upon you know if i could find one with some decent level cards in there so you know, trying to find them out there because I know they're out there and seeing what we can still pull. We may pull a lot of junk. We may get some, we may get some surprises like we did here today. So YouTube, love you. Peace out and keep hitting those subscribe buttons. Keep liking the streams and uh, see you on the next one. Find those hidden gems like I just did today. See ya.